Hi, this is Rika. Welcome to this class. This is a handstand drill class. Stop before you leave. We will not do handstands today, but we will prepare our body for a handstand. So if you'd like to do a handstand after the class or press pause during the class and try it out, um, then feel free to do so. As I said, we won't do it in this class, but we will do a lot of drills, uh, a lot of movements, a lot of um, strength work to actually get the muscles ready for a handstand. So before we start with some movements, I would like to start this class with a pranayama. The Nadi Shodhana, it's a alternate nostril breathing to activate our energy channels with our, in our body, so the nadis. To do that, we will place our left hand on top of our left thigh, thumb and index finger touching. Our right hand will come to our nose, so we will help our nose to breathe from one nostril to the other by using our fingers. The thumb will be placed on top of the right nostril. The ring finger will be placed on top of the left nostril and your index finger and middle finger can come to your third eye. Your pinky finger can be wherever. To start off, we will breathe in through our right nostril while holding our left nostril closed. We will inhale for five counts and then we will hold the breath for five counts and then we will exhale through the left nostril. So closing the right nostril, breathing out through the left nostril also for five counts. Again, holding the breath, five counts and then change the direction. So inhaling through the left nostril, keeping the right nostril closed, holding the breath, five counts, exhaling right nostril, five counts, holding the breath. We will do 10 to 15 rounds, so we can all do in our own pace. I will start with the first few and then you just go with your own count. I will guide you out of it again and we will take some normal cycles of breath. So, place your index finger and middle finger onto your third eye. Close your left nostril. Take an inhale through your right nostril for five. Hold it for five. One, two, three, four, five, close the right nostril, exhale to the left, hold your breath for five, one, two, three, four, five, inhale through the left, hold it for five, three, four, five, exhale to the right for five. Hold your breath. If the five counts is too much, you can to do three or four, whatever is comfortable. Just doing your own pace, 10 to 15 times. So now nine to 14 more times.
flow is your cycle. Release your right hand, release your left fingers. Take a few breaths just through your nose. Maybe you want to exhale through your mouth. Maybe you want to feel your nostrils. So breathe through your nose in and out. Maybe you can already feel a difference in your energy level, in the energies in, in your body. And move from your nostrils into your belly. Really feel the air flowing in, flowing out. Exchanging oxygen. Into carbon dioxide. Bring your hands into your heart center. Rub your palms together, create some heat. Place your palms above each eye and really feel the heat, the energy flowing into your eyes, into your mind. You want to slowly open your eyes if you had them closed. And then massage your face, massage your arms, massage your legs. Bring the heat everywhere where you touch your body. And then slowly make your way into a child's pose. We will start today's asana in a child's pose. Arms straight to the front, forehead onto the mat. Really this time feel your breath moving your lower back. Maybe your back is lifting up with every breath every inhale and lowering with every exhale feel how your breath makes space in your body and with your next inhale bring your hands towards the right maybe placing the left hand on top of the right hand And breathe some air into your side body. Really feel the stretch in your side body with every breath. Now with your next inhale, come back to center and move slowly to the left. Exhale, place your left hand, right hand on top of your left. And 
with every breath move your side body feel the stretching of your side body feel the opening of your chest of your side right body Come back to center. Take one more breath in the child's pose. Inhale. Come into your first tabletop position. Spread your fingers. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. Your knees are underneath your hips. Your chin shins are on the mat your back of the feet are on the mat and protect your shoulders you're kind of rounding your back here not your lower back only your upper back and then take a breath here really feel the alignment with your next inhale lower your belly open your chest up look up towards the sky or the ceiling exhale tilt your pelvis round your back look towards your navel inhale chest up look up your head comes last exhale lift your navel look towards your navel again head comes last inhale up try to use the whole breath for a movement exhale look towards your navel move a few more times in your own pace inhaling up and exhaling round your back With your next inhale, come back into neutral position. Look between your hands. Exhale here. And inhale. Look towards the back right foot. So you're turning towards the right. Exhale here. Inhale, come through the center towards the left. Look to your left foot inhale front and to the other side exhale here inhale through center come to the left exhale here one more time each side inhale to center we will do some core strengthening so our first step it's a little flow the first step is tuck your toes under lift your knees so that they are hovering above the mat into bear pose step back into falakasana high plank come back into bear pose and tabletop position. Do this with your breath. Tuck your toes, inhale up. Exhale, step into high plank. Inhale, come to bear pose. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up bear pose 
exhale high plank inhale bear pose exhale tabletop position inhale up bear pose exhale high plank inhale bear pose exhale lower down tabletop from here we sit one more time back onto our heels i want to do one more quick warm-up for our hands for our wrists tuck your toes under it's really important to sometimes all also stretch the sole of our feet so i invite you to stay here for a little short moment if it gets too difficult too challenging then you can of course untuck your toes but i invite you to try to stay as long as it's comfortable to warm up our wrist we can either do some circles by circling outward opening like a book and then doing these little circles around our wrists where our hands are always touching at some point or we interlace our fingers and then we kind of do this little eights or infinity signs with our hands and of course changing direction wherever it feels right so you can do whichever version you want we will do it for a few breaths now either circling our wrists or interlacing our hands if you're circling your wrists move to the other direction as well so closing the book opening it towards the front of your mat and then bring your hands to a stop interlace your fingers all of us now stretch your arms towards the sky opening up your hands towards the ceiling your shoulders are rolled back so you're not lifting them up to your ears away from your ears rib cage tucked in inhale up and with your exhale bring your hands to the front rounding your back inhale lift your hands up palms facing the sky exhale round your back inhale up exhale round your back inhale up exhale round your back one more time inhale up exhale round your back inhale release release your feet if you stayed up and then we will come back to tabletop position tuck your toes under bear pose step into high plank and then come all the way into downward facing dog Adho Mukha Svanasana if you want you can walk your dog for just a short while as it might, might be <laughs> your first downward facing dog today it might feel good to walk it a little bit to come into this position to find your alignment your hands shoulder width apart shoulders away from ears pelvis lifting up core engaged legs engaged and your heels touching the mat or almost touching the mat wherever you are that's totally fine of course we try to come to touch the mat at some point but if you're not there yet that's totally fine
take some deep belly breaths here enjoying this relaxing pose with your next inhale lower your forearms towards the mat into dolphin pose exhale come back up we will do some uh, arm shoulder strengthening so with every inhale lower yourself down exhale come up inhale down exhale up inhale lower exhale up inhale lower exhale up stay up I've done a great job <laughs> enjoy this relaxing pose again maybe you want to sigh it out through your mouth and with your next inhale lift your right leg up into three-legged dog so we plant bend your knee open your hip and do some hip circles you can go in either direction whatever feels good right now maybe you want to do both directions and then find stillness open your hip and slowly slowly lower your right foot all the way onto the left side of your mat inhale lift your chest up open you up towards the sky your right arm is above you take some belly breaths here in wild thing inhale come back into center back to three-legged dog one breath here exhale bring your knee to your nose step in between your hands into high lunge inhale reach your arms up exhale hands to heart center with your next inhale lower your left elbow towards your right thigh placing it onto the thigh twisting open towards the right with every inhale try to lengthen your spine with every exhale try to twist a little bit more really keep your legs engaged inhale come back to center exhale step towards the front into chair pose inhale reach your arms up exhale tadasana your arms can come to your sides so for this i would like you to really look at your alignment as this is the foundational pose for almost every asana but especially for handstand it's like handstand but the other way around so your feet are hip distance apart your kneecaps are lifting up your legs are engaged they are really really strong so there should not move anything when you touch them your pelvis is in a neutral position your core is engaged as well here no movement ribs are tucked in shoulders rolled back hands either palms facing to the front or to your thighs we won't stay here we will inhale our arms up keep your shoulders rolled down and then rotate your hands so that the palms are facing the ceiling or the sky like you would be in handstand but the other way around and then really feel the engagement in your whole body try to really press into the air above you like you would press into the floor beneath you inhale here and then exhale swing your arms towards the back come into forward fold onto your thighs with your upper body inhale come back up handstand 
other way. Exhale, arms come behind you, forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. One more inhale up, stay here. Exhale, fold over your thighs. Step back into high plank and then come all the way back into Adho Mukha Sanasana, downward facing dog. One breath here. Really feel the alignment again. Lifting the pelvis up. And with your next inhale, lower your forearms onto the mat into dolphin pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. One more. Inhale down. Exhale up. One breath here. Inhale. Lift your left leg up into three-legged dog. Bend your knee and then do some hip circles on this side. Find stillness, open your hip, slowly, slowly lower it down onto the right side so that your left foot is touching the floor next to you. Inhale, reach your left arm above your head, open your chest towards the sky. Breathe here. Inhale, come back into center, three-legged dog. Inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose. Place your right foot in between your hands into high lunge. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One breath here. With your next inhale, we do the twist on the other side. So your right elbow comes towards the left thigh. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist a little bit more. Engage your legs. Inhale to center. Exhale, step into chair pose. Arms up. Come all the way into standing, Tadasana, hands to your sides. We will do the swings again. So check your alignment, feet are hip distant apart, legs are engaged, pelvis is in neutral, core is engaged, ribs tucked in, shoulders rolled back. Inhale, lift your arms up, hands towards the ceiling, really Feel the pushing in your hands. You have a really strong core. So this really helps to feel how your body should feel instead of having like a hollow back or rips out or whatever you can have in handstand. So really try to have a muscle memory here. Remember how does it feel to stand in handstand, but reverse. <laughs> Inhale here. Exhale, swing over your thighs, hands come above you. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. One more inhale up. 
exhale, fold over your thighs, hands underneath your shoulders, step back into high plank and all the way into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. One breath here, A second one sighing out. One more time. One more breath. And with your next inhale, lift your right leg up. Three-legged dog, bend your knee, lower your right foot all the way to the left side, back into wild thing. Inhale, reach your arm above your head, open your chest. One breath here. Inhale, come back into three-legged dog. Exhale, step in between your hands, high lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, bring your right left arm to your right thigh. Again, into a twist. This time, if you want, you can place your left hand onto the mat and lift your right arm towards the corner of the room. So towards the back. <laughs> You have four corners in the room, so don't choose a corner. Take the corner right behind you. And then if you were, if you tried this, come back into the prayer hand twist. Inhale, back into center. From here we will rotate open towards the left into Skandasana, side lunge, hands to heart center. Inhale, straighten your legs into a wide-legged forward fold. Bring your toes a little bit inward so that your heels are behind your big toes. If you want, you can take the opposite elbows and swing from side to side a little bit. If you're touching the mat, that's okay. You can grab your body wherever it feels comfortable right now. Maybe you want to grab your ankles from the outside or the inside. And inhale, come back towards the front. So rotate your feet towards the front of your mat. Step a little bit closer with your left foot and place it into 90 degree angles, so parallel to the short side of the mat. Your hand comes on the inside of your right foot. So your right hand on the inside of your right foot. Open up towards the left. So your left hand is up towards the sky. Try to keep the energy in, closing your fingers. If this is too difficult, you can always use a block. Don't forget to breathe. And then with your next exhale, place your left hand onto your left hip. Your right hand takes the block, places it <laughs> in front of your right front foot. So it's kind of um, one block away. And then we come into half moon, so lift your back foot off the mat, opening your hip. You can either look towards the floor right underneath you, or you look towards the left side, whatever is available for you right now. If you can do it without the block, then do it without the block. Or you can just bring your hand towards the floor beneath you. With your next exhale, slowly lower yourself back into high lunge. Remove your block 
and then place your hands a little bit in front of your foot. Lift your back foot off the mat into standing split. If you want, you can even lift your right heel off the mat for one, two, three, lower down, bring your left foot next to your right into forward fold, inhale, chair pose, exhale, Tadasana. From here, we move one time into our reversed handstand. So inhale, reach your arms up, hands to the ceiling, exhale, forward fold, place your hands underneath your shoulders, step back into high plank, exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. One more breath here, maybe side out. Inhale, lift your left foot off the mat into three-legged dog. Bend your knee and slowly lower towards the right side of your mat. Inhale, reach your arm above your head. Open your chest towards the sky. Wild thing, one breath here. Inhale, come back to center. Three-legged dog, inhale here. Exhale, step between your hands into high lunge. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, hands to heart center. One breath here. Inhale, come into the twist again on this side. If you did it on the other side, you can straight your arms here as well. So your right arm guides towards the outside of your left foot. The left arm goes towards the back into a corner of the room behind you. Inhale, bring your hands back to prayer and all the way back into high lunge. Exhale, move into side lunge towards the right, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift both legs into wide legged forward fold. Your feet come inward a little bit so that the big toes are inside your heels. Again, if you want, you can take your ankles from the outside or from the inside and just enjoy this little break in between. Inhale, rotate back towards the front, step a little bit to the center of your mat. Your back foot is in 90 degree angle, so parallel to the short side of the mat. Again, if you want to take your block, you can take your block or you can place your hand onto the inside of your left foot. Your right arm comes up towards the sky into triangle pose Trikonasana. Inhale here, exhale, place your right arm or right hand onto your right hip. Your plug comes again one plug away from you on the mat in front of your left foot. You can place your left hand on top of it and then lift your right leg off the mat behind you, opening your hip. You can either look right underneath you or you can try to look towards the right. Maybe you can even lift your arm towards the sky. Mm -hmm. 
inhale here exhale slowly lower into high lunge place your hands a little bit towards the front of your mat so a hand width away from your front foot and then lift your back foot off the mat into standing split if you did it on the other side and you want to do it here as well lift your left heel for one two three lower down place your right foot next to your left and come up into chair pose inhale tadasana mountain pose take a breath here and feeling the alignment of your body inhale reach your arms up exhale lower down into forward fold above your thighs from here sit back behind you down onto your mat into stuff pose so your legs come straight in front of you again take your block this time place it onto the mat next to your right leg long side showing away or short side parallel to your leg long side pointing outward your hands come right next to you a little bit away from your body or if you want to place them into your lap wherever you want we won't really use them but it helps to balance a little bit we will do some leg strengthening so it's core and leg actually so that's why you shouldn't really put any weight into your arms because we want to really use our core for lifting the leg we will lift our leg five times above this block starting now so inhale lift above the block exhale come back inhale lift exhale back inhale lift exhale back inhale lift you could lift your arms up as well exhale back inhale lift last time exhale back change the foot change the leg try to keep your back straight and then inhale lift your left foot above the block exhale back inhale up exhale back inhale up exhale back inhale up exhale back lift your hands inhale up exhale back perfect that was it <laughs> um, from here we will do some more core strengthening so this is a whole power strength class for the whole body we will come into boat pose so lift your legs off the mat your shins are parallel to the mat your hands can come parallel to your thighs we will do some uh, little taps so you can either stay with your shins parallel to the mat or you can come into a straight legged boat pose and then we will lift our arms up and tap our feet so we will inhale up exhale tap inhale up exhale tap we will do this five times and then we do some twists right away so we can keep our legs up or you can keep them tapped whatever is available for you today and we will move through our breath twisting from one side to the other so starting with the boat pose inhale up exhale tap inhale up exhale tap 
inhale up exhale tap one more inhale up exhale tap now do the twist inhale up exhale right inhale up exhale left inhale up exhale right inhale up exhale left inhale up release your legs i want to shake them out shake them out maybe you want to shake your hip a little bit from side to side and then flex your feet inhale your arms up and exhale lower above your thighs into forward fold paschimottanasana gonna release your head if you want to pause this video to do some handstand training actually lifting up then this is your uh, time to do this and we will meet back in Paschimottanasana forward fold with your next inhale slowly come back up bring your feet closer to your body and then slowly lower yourself all the way onto the mat if you want you can do a little bit more core work and extend your arms towards the front and then slowly roll vertebra by vertebra all the way down onto the mat beneath you your hands come right next to your body you can bring your feet a little bit closer to your buttocks and then we will do a bridge pose here to feel a little bit into our lower back so with your inhale lift your hip up come on to your shoulders Keep some space between your chest and your chin. Breathe here, hold it. Keep your feet parallel, legs parallel, thighs parallel. Inhale, come up a little bit more. Exhale, slowly vertebra by vertebra, lower all the way back onto the mat. Bring your knees towards your chest we will lift our legs all the way up towards the sky into a shoulder stand so rock yourself a little bit above your head with your knees place your hands onto your lower back and then lift your legs up all the way towards the sky into shoulder stand Engage your legs, engage your core. You can place your hands wherever they land, your elbows parallel to each other. So your upper arms parallel to each other, elbows pointing towards the front. Again, keep some space between your chest and your chin. So you can still breathe here. And with your next exhale, slowly lower yourself all the way back onto the mat. Your knees come into your chest. You can whip your hips from side to side a little bit. Maybe rotate your knees to massage your lower back. And then 
again, come to stillness. Extend your legs towards the sky. Point your feet and then bring your ankles, uh, your hands around your ankles and bring your feet as close or your knees as close to your face as possible into a reverse Pashimottanasana as we did before. So before we did the forward fold in staff pose in a seated position, we also did the forward fold in Uttanasana in standing and now we're doing it in supine pose, lying on our back. One more breath here. And exhale, slowly lower your legs all the way on to the mat and extend your legs into your Shavasana. Extend your arms to the sides. Take one more deep breath into your belly. Exhale, side out. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, side out. Try to release every muscle in your body. Feel the earth beneath you. Feel the floor beneath you, your limbs getting heavier with every breath. The space between your eyebrows is relaxing. Your jaw is relaxing. Your tongue is relaxing in your mouth. Your shoulders get heavy. Your upper back is pressing into the mat. Your arms are heavy. Your hips are heavy, releasing into the mat. Your legs rotating outward a little bit, heavy, pressing into the mat, into the floor beneath you. Your feet falling towards the outside, opening the center of your body. Getting heavy, releasing with every breath.
Come back to noticing your breath. Notice how the breath moves your body. For every inhale, your belly expands, chest expands. For every exhale, your upper body flattens down. Feel the breath moving into your arms, all the way into your fingers. Move your fingers to help your breath. And then feel the breath flowing through your legs, into your feet, tiggling your toes. Maybe rotating your hands and your feet. Bring your arms above your head, stretching your body from one side to the other. And then bring your knees towards your chest and rotate all the way onto your side whatever is your favorite side today. Take one breath in this position. Maybe sigh it out. One more inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale, press yourself up with your hand come into a seated position bring your hands to your heart center find yourself back into the room feel the mat beneath your buttocks beneath your feet Feel how your body is in your room. Feel the air in your room, in your surroundings. Maybe you're in the outside, feel the air wherever you are. Maybe a slight wind or just stillness. Maybe you feel the breath on your body with your exhale. And slightly nod your head towards your fingers. Namaste.